Welcome guys to this uh, new session of uh, showing uh, one more uh, special characteristics of the watercolor that's glazing or we can say the layering. The glazing and the layering uh, technique is very useful to give a perspective feeling to our paintings. In last sessions we have seen the basic characteristics and the basic applications and the extra additional applications by using various tools. Uh, this technique can be used with all other techniques uh, just to give a little depth and a bit of freshness to our application. Here again we are set with all our basic watercolor materials, the watercolor paper, uh, watercolors, masking tape, pencil, scale and two water containers and we can take a flat brush. Start by putting up the masking tape in the paper. Okay, so now we can start. Uh, here I want to show you uh, the glazing technique with four different variants of a uh, single color. We have so many colors, but here I'm using the yellow color. So we can just make a box uh, with the four different sections in that. Glazing is basically nothing but the different shades and tones of a single color by applying the layers and layers on top of it. So uh, sometimes it will change the color also and sometimes it will just give a glaze to your base or uh, you can use your glazing technique to make a color a bit darker with the same shade. So I'm just going to show you all four possibilities which we can use for the glazing. So in the first box, I'm just going to apply the pure lemon yellow color. Just like the first box, we have to cover all three uh, boxes with the lemon yellow color. Uh, this is going to be our base coat for another three glazing techniques. So the glazing techniques is as I told you, it's a layering, like uh, putting one color over the another. So here we are putting the base coat, first coat with the lemon yellow shade. Here we are done with all four uh, boxes with the base coat of lemon yellow. 
now let's wait for some time let it dry uh, it has to be dried completely before applying the second layer of coloring now in the it's dried completely so in the first uh, box I just want to apply the lemon yellow shade one more time on top of the first one so this is called the layering with a single shade if you see the difference it's making a color a bit darker as compared to what it was before but the richness of the color will be more like initially also you can take like uh, more pigment and less water and you can do the this kind of yellow color but if you see the difference if you see the depth this color will look more rich because it will cover all the pigments and all the areas over the page so it won't look patchy now in the second box or maybe in the last box because my two uh, adjacent boxes i can't do because my yellow color is wet so I can go for the fourth one and here I'm using the blue color. So here you can see uh, how we can get the secondary color by mixing two primary colors. So first primary color was the yellow and the second primary color was blue. So once you'll mix yellow and on top of that if you put blue you are getting a shade of green. So this is also another one of the kind of put the glazing like uh, don't use directly the green shade but try to mix it on the spot by using the two primary shades. In the second box, uh, I just want to try with some different shades. So I'm just using orange. Uh, this will give me a beautiful yellow orange shade that will not be available if I use only yellow or only orange. So uh, for, for example, if you want to make some fruits or if you want to uh, paint an apple or if you want to paint an orange, where you want to see some shades of yellow and some shades of orange and somewhere like both mixed together. So this is the best technique to first go with the lighter shade at the base and on top of it you can go for a uh, second darker shade as a layer 2. You can go for multiple layers too like after 2 also you can go for third layer of red if you really want a darker tinge. In the third box uh, I may try for taking a green on yellow. Uh, this type of coloring is uh, very useful while painting the leaves because leaves will be having the tinge of both the yellow and the green and it will give you a really nice shiny effect which will show some bit of yellow and some bit of green along with the leaves you can also use in some vegetables like cucumber or uh, cauliflower or so many places where you can use this kind of glazing technique So this is how the glazing works. Here we have used only two layers. You can go for multiple layers uh, depending on the need. So the colors which we have used here, the base coat of lemon yellow. Uh, in the first box, the top coat also lemon yellow. Um, in the second box, 
the base coat is yellow and the top coat is green and in third one we have used the base coat of yellow and the top coat of orange and in the fourth box we have used the base coat of yellow and the top coat of blue like this we can use this glazing technique for making like uh, so many fruits and vegetables and flowers and leaves in the, the next video i'll just show you a little demo of making a flower with a single color but applying a uh, different layers of it at a different moment of time